My makeup looks so bad right now. Just none of these things are working together. <laughs> For today's video, I really wanted to test out some products that I'm kind of on the verge of decluttering. So I recently posted my entire makeup collection inventory and a whole makeup declutter. If you wanna check out those videos, I'll link them down below. But while filming and editing those two videos, I realized there's a couple products that I'm like, maybe I should declutter, but I think I just need to give them another chance. So in this video, I have a handful of products that I am giving another chance, putting on my face, kind of testing in different ways to see if I can get the product to work for me. And at at the end of the video, I'll decide whether or not I want to keep or declutter that item. If you think my makeup looks a little crazy right now, it definitely does because a lot of these products didn't really go well together. So if you want to learn about some products and test some products out together with me, go ahead and keep on watching. I have two brow products that I pulled out. I have the Kosas Air Brow in Medium Brown and then the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel Pomade. There's like literally no name on this, but I believe this is in dark brown. And I think I wanna try each one on each eyebrow because the purpose of this video is to actually use this makeup and see if I like how it looks, applies, and wears and stuff, you know? And it's also been a minute since I've used these products, so this just kind of helps me to like rediscover how I like to use the product if I end up liking it. So I'm gonna take the Kosas Airbrow. I have nothing on right now, no brows on, and I'm gonna see if I can do like my normal routine of just brushing up my brows. Okay, already it's making a mess. And I think that's what I didn't like about this. I'm not trying to make a mess. I'm not really like pushing up my brows or anything, but I think this is why I didn't like this brow gel because this doesn't look good. And this color does seem really dark for me. Normally, I just like a clear brow gel. I use a brow pen, a brow pencil, and a clear brow gel and I'm good to go because my brows naturally have pigment to them and I do have some old microblading as well. Okay, so I'm gonna let that one dry, but let's try out the Anastasia one. And I think I bought this when it first came out, which I think was a while ago. I wanna say like three years ago. This might be a little dried out too because whenever I, it just sounds dry when I try to take the product out. You know, it doesn't sound like liquidy. Okay, oh, okay. Oh, I'm not liking either of these at this point. Okay, so this one's definitely darker. Again, I think it's dark brown and I've kind of switched to using medium brown these past couple months. And I think I originally bought this because you know, I used to use the Dip Brow Pomade back in 2015 like everyone else. And I guess I just thought this would be better in this formula. This is just a look right now. <laughs> this one definitely made a bigger mess, but I feel like even if I were to like do this step last, you know, do my brow pencil first and then this, it's still gonna make a mess and they still just look really, really dark to me. So I don't know how to fix this with concealer, I guess, right? Oh, I guess we should use the concealer I pulled out then, shall we? Um, so I pulled out the LYS Triple Fix Full coverage brightening concealer. If you watch my declutter in my makeup collection video before this, you'll kind of know a lot of my thoughts already on these products. But pretty much this one is sitting in here because I am in love with the Natasha Denona concealer. Like that is the only concealer I wanna use. I have it in like four different shades. And I bought this LYS one myself because I was just seeing a lot of people talk about it. So I wanted to try it. I'm using the shade LN6 by the way. So I'm gonna take this on a flat concealer brush and I guess I kinda have to like carve out my brows. Should I use just like a makeup wipe? Let me, let me try that first. I really don't wanna have to carve out the top part of my brow because that's how it can start to look really blocky. And I just tend to have a heavy hand in general and I don't want a blocky brow. And this one didn't make as big as a mess on top, so that's good. And my goal for today is to try to make these products work for me. But clearly if I have to try so hard to make it work, then why am I keeping it? Okay, I'm gonna try that LYS concealer. Oh, this color might be a problem too. Okay, so I'm like lining the entire underneath of my eyebrow. The brush I'm using right now is the BK Beauty A505. And when I was linking this brush in a video, I was just kind of like reading the description of it. And apparently Angie made this to like pick up shimmer shadows. It's called like the shimmer shadow brush or something like that. And I think it's a perfect like flat concealer brush. So it's just funny how you can use a brush in a couple different ways. I don't even think I've tried to use this brush for shimmer shadow yet. My brows look so dark and like so full 
not good. Oh, my brow just feels like really thick and like crusty. If I had to pick which one I like better, probably the Anastasia one, but I think it's also like halfway dried out. At this point, I'm decluttering both of these. I'm like, ugh not liking either of them. Okay, let's just move on to foundation or else this whole video is gonna be about my eyebrows. <laughs> so for foundation, I picked the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. Now I bought this myself last, was it spring or summer when this came out? It was in 2023 and I was so excited about it. I love a skin tint in general just because I like a lighter coverage all over and then I'll just spot conceal any spots that are still peeking through because I like a lighter weight on my skin. So when this came out, I was so excited and my issue with that is that I think it is so, so glowy and it's just like borderline greasy. So I've been meaning to try this again now in the winter when it's cold out, my skin's a little drier in general and see if I can get this to work. For primers, I definitely don't wanna use any like glowy or hydrating primer, so I'm thinking either my e.l.f. liquid poreless putty primer this is just like my go-to primer when I want my pores filled in and just like a clean smooth base to work with but I did just get the one size secure the glow tacky hydrating primer when that has like the little boba bubbles in it it actually looks really cool but it's tacky and hydrating so I think this is supposed to be a dupe of like the e.l.f. one so what do I use I should probably use a primer that I know so I'm gonna use the e.l.f. one I'm just gonna rub that into my skin. And I like to like really press it into my pores. Still feeling dry though, but I'm gonna count on this glowiness to help my dryness. I have the shade of five in this, so maybe I should shake it up. Let's do that, it's probably a good idea. And I'm gonna go on the back of my hand. I literally tanned last night just so I could use this foundation because this matches my tan. And I'm gonna take some on my BK Beauty 101. Here we go. Okay, so far it actually does feel hydrating, so that's good. It's looking pretty good on the bottom half of my face. Let me do my forehead. I'm gonna grab a little bit more, and I'm switching to a smaller brush for my forehead just so I can like get around my brows and my hairline. This is a BK Beauty 109, but this is literally just a smaller version of the brush I was just using. I also use this brush a lot for any like cream blush and cream bronzer products. It's actually a very good multitasking brush. You tell me if you think this looks too glowy on its own. Because I like when a foundation gives me a glow like right here on my cheekbone, but it's actually making like my whole cheek shiny. You don't want to be shiny all over. It's not terrible just yet, so we'll see how everything like applies on top of it because that's definitely going to matter. I'm going to go ahead and spot conceal any spots that are still peeking through with my NARS Soft Matte Concealer and Custard. I do this every single time I do my makeup with whatever foundation I'm wearing. And the reason I'm not using the LYS concealer for this is because... I wouldn't use that concealer for this step anyways. The NARS one is my favorite and go-to product for this step. Now I'm gonna take a BK Beauty A506 brush and use this to pat in the spot concealer. Okay, after blending in that concealer, I'm pretty happy with how my skin looks. Yes, it's glowy, but I don't think it's too glowy. Here's a little close-up of my skin after the concealer. I think I like how it looks. I wanna say this Hourglass one is a pretty light coverage. Let me just double check that that's what they claim. But I feel like it just looks really skin-like. Like my skin doesn't look perfect and flawless. It still looks like skin, you know what I mean? Yeah, light coverage. That's what it is, light coverage and hydrating. I'm not mad at it though. I feel like I understand this product more. Next product I wanted to use today is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Contour Wand in Light Medium. Now this was definitely an impulse purge from last year. When e.l.f. launched these beauty wands, I immediately bought a blush, highlighter, and contour. And I actually ended up decluttering the blush and highlight, which tells me I should probably just declutter the contour because I don't think I like it. So again, it has been a while since I've used this product, so I can't like remember why I didn't use it. I guess first of all, the packaging just gets so gross in here. Like I didn't like this packaging with the Charlotte Tilbury one, so why did I buy it in another product and formula? I think there's a lot of products sitting on here. Yep. Is that gonna be too much? I'm actually just gonna start with that. And then I'm taking that BK Beauty brush. Yeah, I think I used way too much product. And I think I just prefer the cream bronzers and contours that are more buildable because it can get so dark so fast. I feel like I'm painting on another layer of foundation. 
Going back to my foundation brush and see if I can blend out these edges. I also just don't think this color looks right on me. It's very, very warm. And it's like not blending into my hairline well because the color is so off. Okay, I'm gonna try to take less, just like right there. I wonder if this product would be good for the like underpainting technique if you like to do that where you put on your like cream blush, cream bronzer first and then your foundation. But I personally just don't really like the underpainting technique. I have tried it. I definitely prefer this way for my cream products. Yeah, I just think this color is too deep for me and like this is as tan as I normally get when I fake tan and I don't really get like dark in the summer or anything. I feel like my face looks so unbalanced like it's so bronzed up here but so light down here. I feel like I need to put some down there. Again, the color is light medium. Let me do like a big swatch to kind of show you the color. And this is my Rare Beauty Power Boost that I wear a lot. Like they just have such a different tone to them. It's like the Elf one has more of like a brown yellowiness to it. I don't think the color is right for me. I don't enjoy the formula. I think this one will definitely be a declutter. I'm going to start with a little bit of my Elf Under Eye Putty Brightener. I use this every single time I do my makeup, even under my Natasha Denona one. So I'm gonna pair this one with the LYS concealer. Or should we do one eye with, one eye without? Just to like see the formula. I mean, this video is kind of about just testing the makeup. So maybe I'll do that because I'm not going anywhere after this. So it doesn't have to be like a pretty makeup look. Taking that concealer, that color looks kind of deep too. Put it over the corrector on this side. Do a little there. Another thing I don't love about this product is I find it just kind of hard to get the wand back in the tube. Like you have to put a little bit of effort into it. Then I'm just going to blend that out with that BK Beauty A506. The colors of my makeup just feel so off right now. I think that's my issue. It's just the color of this because I like how it looks under my eyes and it's not like immediately setting into my creases. And it has good coverage. Just the shade is a little bit too deep and too yellow for me. My next product is an eyeshadow primer and I want to do this before I set my entire face. So I grabbed the Anastasia eye primer. So this eye primer I recently bought myself and it is a mini. And I just kind of wanted to try out another eyeshadow primer. I think I bought this when when it first came out years ago and then I just kind of forgot how I felt about it so I wanted to repurchase it because I love testing out eyeshadow primers and my issue with this one currently is that I think the color is too light and it seems very drying on my eyelid as well and you really only need like even less than that you really don't need much product at all with this primer because it's very full coverage so I picked it up on my brush and I'm just going to kind of pat that on both eyes and then start to blend it in right away because like I said, it does dry down. I think it dries down too fast. Hey, you see how light this color is? I'm just applying that eye primer all over my eyelid. I feel like I get brush marks with this one. So I'm gonna take my finger and like fully pat it in. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit too full coverage for me. Now I wanna see how this eye primer works if I set one eyelid and I don't set the other. I'm gonna take my Hourglass Veil Powder that is almost empty. And I'm gonna set this eyelid. Okay, that actually did set down really nicely. It doesn't look cakey at all. And while I'm here, I'm also gonna set my under eyes. And then I'm not gonna set this lid, but I will set my under eyes because I always do that no matter what. Really quickly, going back to that LYS concealer, it looks pretty good set down. But again, the color's just not perfect. So for eyeshadow today, I pulled out the Jones Road Just A Sec eyeshadows. So these two were sent to me last year and I just really haven't gotten a chance to use them, which is why I want to use them today. I do think these shades are super pretty. This one is Topaz. This one is Cool Taupe. I'm actually going to Google these products really quickly to see if I can like see what they recommend on how to apply it. Because the texture is kind of like a cream eyeshadow, so I think finger is best, but that's why I want to look up the product. They're called Just A Sec eyeshadows, which is also why I think you're supposed to use your finger because it's supposed be like maybe a quick application. It says this innovative formula is weightless, cushiony, and adds a luminous wash of color across the lids. I would agree it does feel very cushiony. Okay, how to use? Using your finger or a brush, swipe it across your lids. It can be used on a clean lid 
or on top of a powdered shadow. That'll be fun to see because this eye is set and this one is not too. So we'll see which one is better. So for shades, I think I wanna start with this cool taupe one and I'm gonna dip my finger into it. And it really is cushiony. It doesn't feel, you know, like the texture of like a MAC paint pot where that one is like really creamy. It's not super creamy, it's just cushiony. So I'm gonna take that on my finger and let's just go all over the lid. Okay, that's one little coat. Okay, that's what it looks like with just my finger. It's like not a terrible application, but I do wanna to try to blend it a little bit. I'm gonna try it with a clean crease brush and see if I can just kind of blend out these edges at all. I definitely think it softened quite a bit. And it really is just like a soft wash of color. Okay. I'm gonna quickly tap out this little crease right here from the eyeshadow primer. And again, that's creasing because I did not set this with powder. So it taken that eyeshadow on the other eye. And now I'm gonna try that brush again. Like looking in my eye creases and everything. I think the shadow looks a little bit glossier on the side without the powder, which kind of makes sense, but I'm not seeing a huge difference. But I do want to see if I can build up the color at all with the brush. So I'm literally just going to like swirl my brush into here. And I'm going to see if I can deepen up my crease. It does give you a really nice kind of soft wash with the brush. I don't really know if this product is for me, but I think if you're someone that likes a fast and quick eyeshadow and you like just kind of a one and done look, you'd probably like this, but I guess we gotta see if it creases at all. Now I wanna apply some on my lower lash line, so I'm gonna try it on my little pinky. And I actually love a shimmer shadow on the lower lash line, so I think I'll like this. I'm kinda struggling to apply it on this eye, so I'm gonna take a clean finger and try to blend it out. I feel really glossy right now. Like my face is still glossy because I haven't set it yet. My eyes are very creamy looking. Well, still not sure about these ones, but I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with this hourglass powder. I literally think I'm about to finish this powder. I'm so excited. All right, so here's what that hourglass is looking like. Does look really glowy, doesn't it? I feel like it just gets glowier the longer you wear it. And I haven't even been wearing it that long. Again, I think I just need to try it as like my gym little skin tint. Guys, I think I just finished the powder. Oh, it is just so satisfying when you finish a product. And I have had this powder for years. My makeup looks so bad right now. Just none of these things are working together. <laughs> I wanna finish with blush before I finish up the eyes. So like I said, I have a powder blush to use and it's the Catrice Air Blushes. And I have three shades here. I have two matte ones and one glowy one. And I received these in PR last year. I kept a couple shades and I just really haven't gotten a lot of use out of them, which is why I wanted to use them today. Okay, so with all these colors on my face, kind of like that one. This one looks a little more like neutral. I think it kind of goes better with the eyes. So I think I want to use this one, which is Spice Space. Why was that so hard for me to say? And it is a matte formula. And I'm going to take it on my go-to blush brush. This is the Sigma F12. Okay. And let's see like how pigmented this is. How does it apply? How does it look? I'd say it's pretty pigmented. I did two swipes into the product. I like a lot of blush, so I'm gonna go in with a little more. I think it's just hard to judge the color of this with the color of my bronzer. Yeah, like it's sitting on the skin really nicely. I kinda wanna try the other one on my other cheek. This one is Cloud Wine. Again, that's what I'm here to do is to test out makeup today. So gotta try out all the shades, right? Okay, color-wise, I definitely prefer this one. I feel like now seeing both sides, I look kind of dead right here. Like, And again, this one's the glowy formula. I feel like I'm not seeing a huge difference between the matte and the glowy side. But yeah, I definitely like this color. I think I have to give this blush another chance on a day where I'm using like my normal face products to see if I do like that one specific color. But that one, I really do like. Now, I don't really have any eyeliner I want to declutter, but I do want to add eyeliner to kind of fix this eyeshadow look a little bit. And I just want to show you how I'm going to fix it. But like I said, right now my eyes feel just very glossy and glowy. So I want to add a smoky, like smudgy liner 
all across my eyes with some lashes and I think that'll really like pull the look together and make the eyeshadow look better as well. So I'm gonna take my favorite black smudgy liner. This is the House Labs Gel Cold Liner in Punk. And I'm gonna run that across my entire waterline and tight line. And I'm taking a pencil brush. This is a little bit dirty, but that's okay. And I'm gonna smudge out that black. So because this eyeliner is so creamy, it's very, very easy to smudge. And I'll get a lot of product on my brush. So I'm just kind of using all the product from my lower lash line to smudge out everything else. I kind of want this to look a little sloppy. It's not going to be perfect. Again, since the eyelids are pretty glossy from that eyeshadow, I feel like it kind of gives it like a grungier look to add this smudgy liner. So now this eye is nice and smudged out and I'm gonna do the same thing too with this one. I am trying to save this eye look with the smudging but now I wanna add a highlight to my inner corner. And I pulled out the Anastasia Glow Seeker highlighter. Now I don't really want to declutter this highlighter. Like it's brand new in my collection, I bought it myself. But I do think it's my least favorite highlighter out of the ones in my collection right now. I just love my Rare Beauty highlighters. Um, I'm really building this up right now because I want this to really, really pop in the inner corner. So I think I can make it work on my eyes like this in the inner corner and a little bit on the brow bone, but but I think it's a little too goldish for my cheekbone, but I'll still try it today. Peeking a little bit under my brow. Now I don't have any mascara or lashes I want to declutter, but I do want to try out kind of a new mascara with you. It's actually a mascara primer from Essence. I don't know if this is new, but I did receive it in PR recently. And I think it's white. Oh no, it's actually like this minty color, which is very different. Usually lash primers are white. I've seen black and I've seen nude before as well. I prefer white actually. And then the mascara I'm gonna use on top is just the green Lash Princess. I have used this mascara before, but I haven't used the primer. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes really quick. And here we go. I have used lash primers in the past, but it isn't something I regularly keep in my collection. Like I don't own any right now other than this one. Okay, so I'm coating those lashes. You can see that minty color. And I'm also gonna do my lower lashes. I feel like I should try one eye with primer, one eye without, right? To see how it looks. This looks absolutely crazy right now. And on the tube, it says it's supposed to add extra length and volume. So now I'm gonna go on top with the Lash Princess. And my goal for this eye look is to do like pretty heavy mascara look to go with the smudginess of the liner and the glossy lids. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I do think I was able to cover up the color of the primer really easily. I can't see anything right now peeking through. Let's go ahead and use just this on the other eye to see if there's any visible difference. Okay, again, I'm gonna curl and going in with just the mascara. And again, I am layering on a lot of mascara. I feel like both eyes look really good. It did feel like the mascara applied easier on this eye with the primer because it had like something else to grab onto. But that's the only difference I really noticed looks wise. I think they look the same, but I feel like I like this eye better. So I don't know, I'm not too sure on this primer. Clean up these mascara marks. Okay, I also just wanted to add that I think both of my eyelids are creasing right now. Both of them, with and without the powder. So that kind of tells me it's the eyeshadow creasing. Or is the eye primer just that bad? Oh, see, that's tricky. I don't know. Yeah, this is just a very messy looking eye today. <laughs> I'm gonna add that Anastasia highlighter to my cheekbones. I mean, I'm already glowy enough as it is. I definitely didn't need to add more highlighter. <laughs> For lips, I have one product that I wanna try. I'm first gonna start by just blanking out my lips with my foundation brush. I do this step every single time I put on lipstick. But the lip product I'm using is the Merit Lip Oil in All Natural. Now I pulled this one out because I've just had this one since it launched. I think when Merit like first launched as a brand, they sent me a little PR package that had like one of everything in it. So I've had this, was it 2020 or 2021? I don't know, but I think this is just old and I feel like it's smelling a little bit and the applicator is so tiny on this. Like I think it's just time to go. So I just want to like use it one last time. 
You can see it's pretty pigmented. And this doesn't feel like the typical lip oils we've been seeing recently, like the like the Too Faced ones, for example. Like those feel glossy and oily. This just feels like a soft wash of color, but not super oily, so. But I like this product because it's so easy to apply, but I hate how small the little applicator is. Yeah, I like the color of this one. I did wear it a lot when I first got it, but I just don't grab for it anymore. I'm gonna add a little lip liner to this look. I'm gonna use my Makeup by Mario Smoky Pink. See, I do really like how that looks, but again, I think the product is just too old, so it needs to be thrown away at this point, and the smell is going off. Okay, well, that is the final makeup look, and my makeup looks terrible right now, but you know, I had to try out these products again, and I feel like I learned a lot today. So I wanna quickly go through those products, and I'll let you know if I'm going to declutter them or keep them in my collection. I think the easy declutter for me today is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Wand. It's just too dark, too pigmented, not the right color for me. I don't like it. I literally have a bin next to me labeled declutter that I put those products in. The hourglass skin tint, I'm gonna put in my downstairs bathroom, which is where I get ready in the morning. So when I go to the gym, I just wear a moisturizer and I add a little bit of the Drunk Elephant bronzy drops just to make like a little bit of a bronzy thing and put it all over my face. And that's all I wear to the gym. But I'm thinking on days where I might want like a little bit of coverage, I could try this out. I still think it's pretty glowy, but I think it'll work in the gym because I'm already sweaty and glowy in the gym anyways. So I think this should work for that. Both brow products, I will be decluttering. My brows look so bad right now. Even my boyfriend said my brows like way too dark and just very bushy and that's not what you want to hear. <laughs> I think I finally need to declutter the LYS one. I've been holding on to it for a while since I've got it. Again, I just never reach for it and I would just much rather use my Natasha Denona or Tower 28. So even if I kept it, it's just going to be sitting in my collection and expiring. So I'd rather just get rid of it now. And then the Catrice blushes, I'm gonna keep around for now. I'm gonna use them on a day where I do like my normal base routine and, and see how the colors look then. I'm still not sure with the Anastasia eye primer because in general, I don't really wear cream shadows. So I don't know if this was a good test on this product. Like I need to use this like with my eyeshadow palette, like a formula that I know and love and see how this primer works with that. And then the Jones Road shadows, again, I think I would like best on a day where I have a matte shade in my crease, pop this on my lid and be good to go. But if I do a look like that, I'm way more likely just to use like a shimmery topper shadow, kind of like my Urban Decay Space Cowboy. So I think even if I kept these in my collection, I really don't think I'm gonna reach for them. And because these are still pretty new and I've only used them a handful of times, I'm gonna give them like to my mom or someone that I think would like this type of product. So these are being decluttered. I am gonna keep the Anastasia Glow Seeker Highlighter. While it's not my favorite one right now, I still bought it with my own money. I think it's beautiful, so I'm gonna keep it. And then I am going to declutter the Merit Lip Oil just because it's really old, the smell is going off, but it does look beautiful on my lips. So I would recommend this if you kind of want a really, really lightweight product Product that has a slight color to it, but I don't think it stains your lips at all. I am gonna keep testing out the Essence Mascara Primer. I really wanna try this with my Tower 28 Mascara, which is my favorite mascara right now, so maybe those will be really good together. I had so much fun filming this video today, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.